Well, good morning everybody, and welcome to another Cities with John episode. Well, hello, and welcome. It's been a long time. Welcome to Cities with John, a new beginning to my YouTube channel. I'm Cities Harper, and I'm thrilled to have you along for the ride today. I built a new computer. Merry Christmas to me. Yes, I have a new computer, and it wasn't just bought and purchased for making cities videos I kinda needed one it was a little bit overdue I really had a pretty good computer uh, to begin with but it was kinda showing its age in some ways and it did struggle playing city skylines and I just decided eh, what the heck wife asked me what I wanted for Christmas and I told her ultimately I don't want anything I've got everything that a man could want or a woman could want I am very humble and you know I'm not contrary to popular belief building a new computer and all that good stuff I'm not a materialistic person I'm happy with what I have and I'm just uh, very humbled I'm able to go out and just purchase the system I wanted and it's a beast of a system if you're interested in the stats of my new computer I'll be glad to tell you someday in person if you want to meet me. Otherwise, you'll never know. <laughs> well, you probably don't care, but I have a Ryzen 3700X and I also upgraded my video card to a 2070 Super. I have 32 gigabytes of uh, RAM and all sorts of good stuff and I also got one of the new uh, M.2 SSD hard drives as my boot drive wasn't going to necessarily do that at first but I'm glad I did because games including City Skylines boot very very quickly and then on top of all that I have a new video editing program I'm using uh, Movie Studio 16 and I know, you know, it's not Adobe, it's not even Vegas, it's kind of Vegas's dumbed down version, I guess you would say. But there's plenty, plenty of stuff that I, I'm going to put to good use, but it's, it's far more advanced than what I was using, which was basically Windows Video Editor. And... I do have a degree in electronic media. I did a lot of video editing in college and I really enjoy it. I love the creativity part. I like being creative. At the end of the day, it's just kind of something I enjoy doing. So I am very happy with how this video from the terms uh, from from the frame rate standpoint and how it just looks and feels it just I think it looks far superior to my old videos and you so I was able to come up with a little custom intro and I'm just kind of toying with that. I'm still learning the program I'm still learning the ins and outs of that and then let's just talk about City Skylines for a minute so with the bulk up in hardware video editing software or uh, a video card and all that I was able to get a couple of mods that I held off on just because I knew and had read that they were very taxing on systems and I'd already was kinda at my wits end I was averaging anywhere from 
10 to 20 frames per second with not even the highest level of detail on the graphics uh, settings to now I get a consistent 30 frames per second with the highest graphics and I even have the ultimate level of detail mod and I haven't really cranked it up tremendously but I have made it where you can see building detail um, so like building detail trees prop uh, level of detail further away and I don't know how much of that you're going to be able to tell when you're watching videos but what it will allow me to eventually do which I haven't done yet I didn't do for this video but it will allow me to record live which is what I originally did when I started making um, videos uh, on cities and so recording live and what you're seeing here and I should kind of talk about I guess what we're doing today um, we're building a, another casino along this Sunset Strip uh, this is Beach Episode Series 7 but when I recorded this part of it I had not turned on the I had not downloaded that ultimate level of detail and these little blue open signs would have showed up properly if I would have had that mod at this point so later in the video I'll kind of inform you when I have put that ultimate level of detail on and you might be able to compare and see uh, if there's any difference but just to kind of broad scope going back to these graphic settings and all that making this video it, when I recorded the footage I actually had to speed the game up um, a tad like I usually would had turned the in-game speed down all the way to like 30 25 percent and then sped it up four times uh, normal speed to get not even a 60 frames per second video now I'm having to toy with it because first off my Windows editor just had speed set up like you know two times four times eight times 16 times the normal speed with movie studio you can speed it up down to an exact percent so there's a lot of options of how you can go about making your videos um, I think well it's gonna be some trial and error involved I, I don't think there's really that's really all you can say about it so some of this might look some of these the portions of this video might look a little bit different than other portions of the video and like I did state I did record this over a couple of days I didn't actually just do it all at once but ultimately it's going to make a big difference in the overall appearance of my videos the quality all around the rendering everything with the video editor is just oh it's so much better <clears throat> and just making these uh, editing and doing the videos it's just it's really something that I'm I'm starting to really enjoy and it's it's wanting me to get back into video editing as a whole um, being heavily involved with uh, Louisville City FC lots of stuff I could probably get um, and doing some fun editing with the Coopers and stuff like that so maybe that's something I'll do down the road uh, just just for just for fun now what we are working on today is this link hotel so the link is uh, a Vegas hotel that was um, man it has had like seven different names in the last like 20 years it's on the strip right next to um, right next to the flamingo and 
to be honest with you i don't even know i don't think the link is still it might still be there um but what they've done with the link is they've built kind of all around it and made like a little strip right there and it's like a little walkthrough and at the end of it is the big uh, vegas the newer vegas ferris wheel uh, the Link Casino is has always been like one of the least expensive uh, casinos to stay at, but I think that's changed over the last um, couple of years. Um, because back when I was going to Vegas a little bit more regularly, it was a cheaper hotel. It wasn't that it was like really bad or anything um but when i was going there um, back in the early two or about 2010 2011 it was called uh, imperial palace uh had kind of a japanese look to it and then it was renovated to this place called the quad and i think from the quad it went to the link uh if i'm not mistaken and the quad might have been just kind of like a hint that um, that they were looking to make it an epicenter because it is a great location. It's it's right in the heart of the strip, um, kind of across from the Bellagio where all those fountains are. It's just a beautiful location, and so I uh, I've had this casino in my repertoire for quite a while and decided. I would put it over here across the street from this little casino area that have uh, uh, that I've built. In order to do that, at the beginning of the video, I just kind of knocked out where I'd put in the Hardys in an office building that had been there since I first built the city. To the left of the view you see here, there is a couple of warehouses, um, and you might notice there's some steam coming out of the side of the brick over there well that's gone I put in a parking garage and there you have a somewhat finished product with a little bit more detailing to go now with the parking garage there I attempted to make a little street to go down uh, for cars to go down it but wouldn't you know it they do not uh, do not cooperate as you know the cars in this game do whatever they want as you can see right there they're driving through the back side of shell to get to the shell parking lot so as i've been toying with all these graphical mods and things of that nature i've also been toying, well i guess somebody's about to get their uh wheelchair in the car wash that should be fun not that scooter it's one of those weird scooters um but yeah so I've, I've been toying with the graphics but i've also been toying with uh, the the prop and tree anarchy so prop and tree anarchy is what allows you to put trees and props wherever you want so before that when you would put you could not put a prop on a building you couldn't even put a prop near a building so let's say that you wanted to put a um, flag on the side of a house okay it's, it wouldn't happen let's say you wanted to put a sign on the side of a building can't do it you cannot do it without the prop and tree anarchy now at the same time the tree part of that you can put bushes anywhere if you want to put a tree right in the middle of the street you can but here's the kicker to that when you have prop and tree anarchy turned on and, I, and I'm still not 100% sure on how that works but when you have it turned on your trees they can go anywhere and all that but at the same time when you reload your level they're not always there unless you have prop and tree anarchy just turned on by default but when you do that you'll get trees that should have gone away when you built roads or things of that nature that magically just show up so whenever i started messing with this it was almost like it was almost like i never built certain roads because there was trees 
right in the middle of the roads and I was like oh my gosh so I've been reading a lot online about different things um, tied into Uh, the, the tree and prop anarchy and come to discover that um, there's a lot of things that you can do that will kind of it kind of screws with it and all that and and it's not exactly I'll just say that you just kind of have to toy with it and you have to be careful but the main thing I found out is I'm going to use the in-game yellow bulldozer to delete trees now I'm not going to use move it I'm not going to use the scroll over and it's going to be way more time consuming but that is the best way that I have found out that you can prevent the trees from coming back because I've had trees it seems like they came back from the stone age to magically appear in my city so I'll be going around just kind of taking a look at stuff or, or shooting some cinematics or something of that nature. And then I go to play the cinematics back and lo and behold, there's a forest in the middle of some concrete. So that's needless to say, pretty irritating. So now that I have this parking garage over here, what I'm doing now is I'm setting up what I would consider like a private parking area. Um, nothing that's like too guarded but something maybe that the employees can park in that is not look at this van yeah um, something maybe the employees can park in but it's not for tourists to park in so uh, that's kind of the idea with this little back door spot um, behind the uh, behind the casino um, and I will say that you know with, with these with these changes that I've made uh, graphically and, and with all this I mean there is a <clears throat> it, it really beautifies the game it does look a lot better and I've noticed that uh, sometimes like the color corrections and the different things I use with the like ultimate eye candy mod um, even like render it uh, theme theme mixer too something's gonna have to give I'm gonna have to part ways with something because one counteracts with the other I literally spent an entire night just toying with the color and the graphics and I'm, I put out a video of a peaceful night in nowhere land uh, a week ago or so and it was a night video and when I rendered it it just seemed a bit too dark I uh, I don't know I, I sent it to a couple of friends to watch and the videos probably got about 20 views now and the feedback was good uh, they both said that it, looked fine and but the nighttime just looks way more realistic I mean it like the instead of the trees and stuff being still kind of lit up they're very dark like everything's very dark it's a lot darker I thought maybe it was too dark but apparently I was wrong and it, it looks pretty good so uh, here you probably noticed this uh, Mexican restaurant and fence and all that kind of popped up out of nowhere uh, I did a few little things uh, little detailing things back here just to uh, add on to the back side of this and I thought that'd be a great place for a restaurant uh, attached to this parking lot so it wasn't just a uh, parking lot for the casino Plus, the casino really is more of the parking garage, not the, not this parking lot here. This is more for just the Mexican restaurant. So, uh, kind of put that together and then threw in some shrubs and things of that nature. And I thought this would be an excellent spot to put in something that I haven't done in quite a while, which I'll be doing a little bit later in this video and that is a uh, bus stop so 
um, going to start really tying in some of the uh, metro um, some of the metro uh, public transportation type of stuff that I haven't really done too much of over here just yet and I want to try my best to um, tie that in without going too crazy with it. I've also made a decision on where I kind of want to put the downtown to my city and I'm not going to really go into too much detail on that but it's going to be closer to this area than I was first expecting and I think my next series I've already well I've thought about it a lot and you know I'd like to hear from you guys uh, on that um, if you would like uh, vote uh, vote for what you would like to see next and I will put that link popped up on the screen so uh, click it and vote on it uh, because I uh, I have a couple of ideas of what I'd like to do next, but I'd like to see what you would like to see next. Um, <clears throat> so here I'm just kind of adding in one of the Steam Workshop sidewalks. And oh, by the way, I went on kind of a search looking for some Steam Workshop pathways and things like that. And I like these people just driving across it. Oh, gosh. Um, there's not as many options for paths that I could find. I, you know, I can't really, I don't know. I, I, maybe I just wasn't looking hard enough. If you've got some really good path ideas or pathways that you found out there, uh, send me a message or comment in the, in the, uh, at, at the bottom of this video. I'd like to know, uh, what, um, what paths are out there that are, are better than just some of these ones that you know, I've been using? Because I do like the one that I just put down here. I think it looks all right, but there's got to be some other ones um, out there that are a little bit more suitable. Um, so we'll see. So just making lots of different pathways to get around this area and also lots of places for people to stop and take a break from gambling or whatever else and using the benches that are the have the people generator so people will actually go to these benches and sit down on them and relax and when I throw in this bus stop that gets used uh, tremendously uh, and so here talking about this bus stop originally I was going to put the line on the other side of the street but I thought you know what that is probably too many people walking across that street uh, with all the benches set up on the other side so I decided to just make a new line and we're going to connect this line all the way down to the train station the sunken train station at the end of the other end of the strip this is gonna be a very simplistic line so we're just gonna put in one stop down here and then we're going to run it all the way over toward the mall uh, across from the top golf and then we are going to put another stop right here at the other strip a uh, little small strip mall at the main entrance of the mall and then just connect it so only four stops all together on that um, connection but i think that's enough and i think that it will have people and look at all the people just already uh sitting around waiting for their bus uh, to come pick them up so this will connect the rest of the city fairly well and um, you know this is about the end of the link and what I want to do with this very simplistic uh, video very quick video but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found the quality of the video itself to be better so thanks for watching guys I appreciate it hit that like button subscribe Thanks again to Nate Eubank for hooking it up with some great beats.